and let's see what's coming your way when it comes to love and I already love what I see. We do have the Eight of Wands, we know it's all about Cupid's arrows and um, communication back and forth. And we do have the, love, the, the world in reverse. We have some unfinished business with this person or with yourself. Eight of Wands, Six of Swords, I love this even more. Peace of Mind. Um, you know, it's kind of um, walking away from something that is um, no longer serving and maybe finally having that ending that we deserve, right? We kind of need to put a situation to bed. We do have Eight of Wands with a Page of Wands. Um, Aries, the Sagittarius energy, but this is also the energy of a new passion. Um, and Eight of Wands and the Page of Wands, let me tell you, it's a lot of passion. It's a lot of fire coming your way. Both energies of communication, passionate communication, and new um, sensual I kind of call it the fair, but a uh, beginning of. And we do have the death in reverse, Scorpio energy. Ouch. Well, I know, right? Oh, these uh, combined decks, they're not easy to shuffle. Eight of Wands and the Moon, Pisces energy. Might be a secret affair, Libra, we will see. Might be a secret communication with somebody. Um, maybe it's a new beginning, kind of a timid one. Uh, but I mean, it becomes fire, right? The moon in reverse and the three of swords in reverse. Well, yeah, maybe they hurt us a bit. Maybe we are recovering. Knight of wands in reverse and the moon. A lot of people involved in this, Libra. What's going on? Everybody is watching. So let's stop shuffling. Let's see the, at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. And of course I say the first week of November, but we know um, we know how time is. Knight of Swords, the overall energy, and the Page of Wands again. Looks like a passionate affair, Libra. Knight of uh, Swords is a little bit of a rushed um, kind of energy where we jump to a maybe an offer. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Knight of Swords, Page of Wands, Ace of Cups, King of Cups. Wow. Probably one is a little bit um, more mature than the other one. Um, Knight of Swords is a younger energy. It's a very active energy. And then we have the King of Cups. King of Cups is, we know we love this person. Ace of Cups, we know it's mature. It's beautiful. Page of Wands, it's a little bit sexy. I'm just saying. And a little bit rushed with the Knight of Swords and probably Libra if you have like a tendency lately to just um, jump to a situation might be the universe kind of saying let it mature a bit um, let's start by communicating making um, small offers Ace of Cups right a, a lot of potential but still it's an Ace we have a long way to go up to Ten of Cups and we do have the High Priestess yeah, <laughs> the Holy Spirit is between you and this person, right? I know, I'm kidding, I know. But such a beautiful energy, right? It's the energy of knowing, it's the energy of clarity, it's the energy of um, spirituality, and we have the Ace of Cups again. <clears throat> um, Libra, I believe the person you love loves you back. That's twice the Ace of Cups, right? You are for them the Ace of Cups, they are for you the Ace of Cups. A beginning of something beautiful, passionate, mature with the King of Cups and a little bit on fire, a little bit quick. So past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual and of course Libra you take the side you resonate the most with and only the messages that speak to your heart, your mind, your soul. Current energies for, your, uh, for you, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with, and your John. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands in reverse, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles again. You must be kidding me. Um, you must be kidding me, Libra. We have Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, twice the Ace of Cups, twice the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, and Ace of Wands. <laughs> this reading is screaming offers and new beginnings over here. I don't know if you have multiple offers, by the way. Might be. Uh, but 
Ace of Pentacles is a solid one, Ace of Cups is a very romantic one, sensitive one, Ace of Swords is a very sincere one, and the Ace of Wands in reverse, it's kind of like, we cannot just yet make love, right? That's the Ace of Wands, it's um, the sensual part, and it's a bit delayed, it is in reverse. Wow, I guess I want to be a Libra today. Um, so hey, Libra, in the past, what do we have? We do have the moon and we do have the seven of pentacles. It's kind of you. Um, you had to be patient about this, right? And I kind of feel that we, I, I have, it comes to mind the shadows of the valley of death, but it's not the case, but that's the moon a little bit, right? Um, overwhelming emotions, fears, shadows, um, you know, the energy of intuition and emotions, but by, by the combination of it and the energy coming out of it is really one of being patient uh, while we go through the shadows of the valley of death, you know. Um, we had to be patient, we had to be patient and I feel it was more you had to be patient with yourself but it can very well be for some of you had to be patient with this person. Um, now, uh, the person you are dealing with, Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and the Nine of Swords, um, they were pretty scared that they are going to lose you, uh, while you're probably expecting results in something else, um, a return on investment of some sort from whatever you had in your energy, this person was, I mean, um, Nine of Swords, right, in a mental prison and very stressed, um, you're probably away from this person. Knight of Pentacles shows up in reverse. Um, so either somebody is stopped somewhere and that there, there was no action between the two of you and that's when it became um, quite stressful. Either it's a long distance um, than being away from you. And because of the distance, they were pretty scared with the Nine of Swords. Um, mutual energies between you and this person, um, Libra. We do have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords, a painful, 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 burdening ending, right? I love the energy on your side. It's like kind of acknowledging the emotions that we are going through with the moon and being patient about and knowing that this too shall pass. That's the Seven of Pentacles, right? Knowing that at some point, um, you know, um, reality will kick in and we, we will have the energy to move on. And um, they were very stressed. Let me tell you, very stressed. Whatever they were blocked and whatever they were, um, you know, away from you. Ten of Wands, Ten of, so of Swords. Painful ending for both of you. So where are we right now? We do have the Eight of Wands in reverse and we have the High Priestess in reverse. Pisces Cancer um, energy again. And it's a lot of stuck, I would say. You might be still stuck on this person, Libra. You might um, still have thoughts, maybe from time to time conversations. Eight of Wands is the energy of exchanges. Um, but but it, it has a... And the High Priestess in reverse is the energy of breaking the silence. So we have one energy of non-communication and then we have one of breaking the silence. So it might be kind of an in and out Um type of connection at this uh, point where we have um, communication and then we don't and then we have and then we don't now this person of yours they do have the sun Leo energy and the ten of pentacles they are in a very stable place in a very happy place they are all about the truth um, this experience actually enlightened them um, in a beautiful way they might be focused on making money, becoming abundant. Uh, they might have a family that they are focused on right now with the Ten of Pentacles. And um, and again, in a good place, right? Somebody evolved, somebody enlightened. Now, the energy between the two of you, uh, we have you, Libra, and we have the Fool in reverse. So somebody here might be a little bit impulsive about something. And because of it, the energy is between you and this person, Libra. You show up, might be justice, but it's combined with the fool, right? So it's kind of a foolish um, self-justice of some sort. So let's make sure we are not jumping um, to stuff because we started with the Knight of Swords. And Knight of Swords, we know it's kind of a reckless energy, jumping to stuff. Um, and, um, and let's make sure we are not jumping, you know? Because we are probably still hurt in your energy. We still have the Ten of Swords. We are still recovering. 
we are still putting down burdens. We are still dealing with uh, the moon energy, the high priestess in reverse, you know, secrets coming out, things finding out. So, you know, uh, we might, um, it might not be the right moment. And, and I mean, this person is good and, and it can be your energy, Libra, right? The sun and the ten of pentacles. So the energy coming your way, Six of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So for some of you dealing with a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn, this is victory. This is love, nurturing energies, them wanting to come your way. And um, Six of Wands, right? A sense of, uh-huh, you are coming back. Now this person, the energy is coming their way. Well, they know they betrayed you, right? Ten of Swords with the Five of Cups feeling guilty for all the pain that they've caused. That's exactly the energy. Feeling guilty for ending this. Feeling guilty for the energies going between the two of you and also missing you. Five of Cups is my I miss you like crazy energy. And the judgment and the tower. Wow, that is a decision about uh, separation. the separation that happened between the two of you. Uh, whatever was disrupted is uh, put it, it is put back together. That's the judgment, right? Second chances, a rebirth, um, a second shot, a leap of faith after, I mean, the crazy moment of of uh, of the disruption. We have twice the ten, and it's um, interesting, Libra, because we have twice the ten of swords. We have the ten of wands, and then we have five aces six aces right so somebody here and it does look like it is this um um earth sign Taurus Virgo to Capricorn and they are not far away from you and they want to come your way right and they really believe that this connection can be successful and they want to give it a shot and I do believe you want to give it a shot you have I mean six aces and you mirror each other energy, right? Ace of Cups twice, Ace of Pentacles twice. We can build this and we can have this love. But boy, the pain that this caused. It's just crazy, right? Ten of Swords twice and the Ten of Wands. Way too much pain. Way too much pain. Um, so let's see the universe. Uh, let's, let's ask for some guidance. Should we say yay? Should we say nay? Um... Let's see, right? So, uh, this one. Let's have some romance angels. Let's see if this is yay or nay. So, we do have getting to know each other, Libra. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you have a connection with somebody and actually it's all about um, getting deeper and deeper into this connection. We do have past life relationship. You have known each other before. I feel you are guided towards this person. We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual growth. And bottom of the deck, reconciliation, and very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And we have passion on the bottom of the deck. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So Libra, you are guided towards this person. That is no doubt. That is no doubt, right? Getting to know each other, it does feel like a new connection. But then we have reconciliation. I do believe it, it has this energy where when we separated, we didn't know better, right? That's the energy. And because of reconciliation, it, it has this kind of like guidance of, can you take your time, right? To know this person, right? Might be a difference between you and them. We do have religious factors, might really be a problem, right? And we are really guided to be smart about because it was also a lot of hurt. Now let's have um, whispers of love and true love. Let's see. We do have self-protection. You nurturing your garden, your, your inner child, your inner world. Um, you are actually called to be cautious on this one. We do have treasure your loved ones. Uh, Libra, it is important to love others deeply. We do have the sacred woman. 
um, again, you are called, if you are a Libra feminine energy, you are called, um, you know, to, to come from a place of higher self, a place of love, a place of self-protection, worthiness, confidence, and self-esteem. Yeah, you are worthy, Libra. I don't know if they told you uh, the opposite, but you are worthy and the universe is actually asking you to come from that place of confidence and we do have intimacy and we do have the ace of wands in reverse so i feel that um kind of like the physical bond touch um love making is um something that we need to pay attention to at this time let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow we do have gratitude libra we need to be grateful for this connection and the chance that we um, that we have. So you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. So this separation, this pain, this twice the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, burdens, pain, um, deception, disappointment, backstabbing, whatever happened, right? It was meant to uh, to show us the way. We do have fear, and you do have the moon in the past, right? Recent past. So then I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So this is how we surrender fear, by affirmations all through the day. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. We do have trust. So um, some Libra here might have issues of um, trust and, um, and fear. So you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice, voice and have faith in your intuition. We do have happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. And the bottom of the deck we have expression. Maybe you need to tell somebody, Libra, that you trust them. Um, that you are thankful. That is gratitude and, and uh, you know, you have fear and trust. It's not by mistake, right? Some of you being afraid of something, you are guided to actually have trust and express that trust. So you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. I'm just saying. Um, let's have some general guidance. Uh, can be about this love, can be completely different. And you do have brilliant idea, Libra. Yes, your idea is divinely guided and please take action to bring your idea to fruition. We do have voice of truth. Stand strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear of, persecu of persecution and speak your truth. So I don't know what idea and I don't know what persecution you feel like, uh, Libra, but it looks like you can voice it out and uh, put it into practice. Um, magic manifesting. I love this. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. It's interesting, right? Stand strong, fo focus on your purpose, and now you have your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. Yeah, you can do both, by the way. You can trust somebody um, and you can be focused on your life purpose. I feel that some of you having an idea on your mind. You kind of receive the, um, you know, um, kind of um, go kind of card, right? Um, so, hey, I definitely want to be a Libra. I definitely want to be a Libra because despite the pain, somebody is so deeply in love with you. Once in the beginning, a leap of faith, a reconciliation, a rebirth of a connection that went boom, Libra. It was the most painful boom ever. Um, so, hey, this is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.